In a small village, two men discover themselves being chased by a threatening gang armed with weapons. As things intensify, one of the men is sadly hit by an arrow, facing a grim destiny. Strangely, amidst this pursuit, no other villagers are visible, as if they have all vanished. Eventually, the other man figures out how to escape from their pursuers. Let's go back six months. Our main character meets a well-known MMA fighter named Wes Baylor. Wes is regarded as the best in America. However, he is set to face a match against his close friend, Johnny. In the initial round, Wes takes the lead, but Johnny makes a comeback in the next round, posing a significant challenge. Following his coach's advice, Wes employs a tactic to incapacitate Johnny, securing the victory. Sadly, Johnny never recovers from the fight, leaving Wes burdened with guilt over the loss of his dear friend. Jump ahead six months from the tragic incident. Despite contemplating retirement, Wes is haunted by memories of Johnny. Seeking solace, he turns to sedatives, but financial difficulties compel him back into the realm of underground fighting. A notable triumph at a lavish hotel grabs the attention of Jonah, a fight promoter, and his associate, Madden. Jonah presents Wes with a lucrative fighting chance in Myanmar, handing over his card for contact if interested. The following day, Wes reminisces about a conversation with Johnny, who dreamed of buying a beachside home with his fight earnings. Unfortunately, fate took a different turn. Determined, Wes decides to fulfill Johnny's dream on his behalf. With resolve, he approaches Jonah, viewing it as the opportunity to bring Johnny's dream to fruition. With newfound determination, Wes strides into Jonah's office. Fully prepared, he declares, count me in, but I've got a small condition. I want my payment up front, before the whole event kicks off. Unfazed, Jonah nods in agreement. Fast forward, Wes is on his way to Myanmar, ready to face his opponents. Thanks to Jonah's connections, Wes meets a military official who is fully on board. Everything is set for the showdown. Jonah then introduces Wes to the team of challengers, each with a unique alias. There's Esparto, the renowned bullfighter from Spain. Next up are Jacob and his son, Tobias, enthusiastic supporters of Wes. Not to be overlooked is Sophia, passionate about hunting, and finally, Landon, the mastermind behind shooting games, ready to challenge Wes. After the introductions, Wes is left puzzled, asking, where's the arena? And who am I up against? Jonah, with a cunning grin, disclosed, the arena is pretty much everywhere around here. Your opponents are just regular folks you've encountered since you arrived. Jonah then presented the grand prize, sparkling rubies valued at an astonishing million dollars. He explained the rules, Wes would have only a water bottle, while the hunters could select any weapon. If Wes got captured or injured, he'd lose. However, crossing the boundary would make him the winner. To highlight, Jonah had two prisoners brought forward. They were marked, and Madden impressively took down one with an arrow. Realizing the seriousness of the situation, Wes opted to escape the precarious setup. But Jonah, his crew, and their arsenal were hot on his heels. Jonah cautioned, you've got exactly two minutes to find a hiding spot. With limited choices, Wes plunged into the game, sprinting into the forest, hoping to stay unnoticed. Meanwhile, Jonah introduced another participant, Maduka, a passionate hunter reveling in the chaos. The crew was familiar with the routine. Before the chase commenced, Jonah set a rule, no cell phones or cameras. He wanted full attention from his team. With that settled, as they started their pursuit and while most went in one direction, Maduka decided, I'll take the more scenic route. Meanwhile, Wes was unwinding by the river when he suddenly spotted a lifeless body drifting past. The game had already claimed many casualties. While still processing this, Maduka launched a surprise attack. Thanks to Wes's agility, he dodged it. Drawing Maduka in, Wes seized the moment to deliver a powerful blow, knocking Maduka out. As dusk approached, Jonah's team was left puzzled. Wes remained hard to find. However, Landon had covertly recorded the hunter's conversations using a concealed camera in his bag. Just as Wes seemed safe in his hiding place, Madden discovered it. Acting quickly, Wes leapt into the river, escaping his pursuers. He then discovered another river behind a hill, where he came across the, a woman amidst a group of elephants. On the ground was a watch, a cherished gift from his friend Johnny. Initially doubtful of the, suspecting she might be with Jonah, Wes soon found out she was searching for her brother, Wynn, who had become entangled in this twisted game. Sympathetic to Wes's situation, the promised her support, guiding him toward the forest's edge. As they traveled, the disclosed that her brother, a skilled fighter acquainted with a mystical powder, had mysteriously vanished. She suspected he fell victim to this cruel game, a destiny experienced by many locals. In contrast, Jonah, seeing his hunters struggling, equipped them with vehicles. 
Moreover, he deployed a drone to trace Wes, and upon spotting the, included her in the list of targets. Wes, recognizing the danger they faced, advised the, you don't need to come with me any further. I've planned our escape. Suddenly, three hunters on motorcycles approached, ready for action. Unperturbed, Wes confronted them, swiftly overpowering two. He signaled the to stay hidden. Seizing a motorcycle, he enticed the third hunter, Sophia, away. The chase intensified with Sophia closing in on Wes. However, upon noticing a button on the motorcycle, he pressed it, releasing a spider web-like trap. Wes aimed and shot the web at Sophia, causing her to get tangled and fall off her motorcycle. However, she swiftly recovered and started shooting arrows at Wes. Quick on his feet, Wes dodged the projectiles. Sophia, determined, attacked with a series of martial arts moves. Leveraging his MMA training, Wes countered with a powerful kick, sending Sophia sprawling five meters away. Without hesitation, Wes hurried to find the, eager to continue their journey. Meanwhile, Jacob and Tobias were searching for the, underestimating her abilities. With stealthy agility, the approached them unnoticed from behind. A fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat ensued. Although the put up a good fight, Jacob's strength proved overwhelming. As he prepared to harm the, his companion, Tobias, refrained from intervening, disliking unnecessary violence. Enter Wes, who quickly tackled Tobias, throwing him off balance. By the time Wes reached the, she had already defeated Jacob in an intense showdown. Witnessing Jacob's defeat, Jonah was furious. In his anger, he scolded Tobias, holding him responsible for the disaster. Then, to further his vendetta, he urged Tobias to avenge Jacob's death. Amidst the chaos, the grappled with guilt over her actions, but Wes reassured her, emphasizing her innocence. Seeking shelter, they found a hut where they tended to Wes's injuries. To invoke protection, she suggested offering prayers to a horse statue, hoping to find favor in their perilous journey. Unbeknownst to them, Jonah had implanted a tracker in the ruby Wes possessed, explaining his relentless pursuit. The stakes heightened when Wes and the found themselves surrounded by mines. Ingeniously, Wes tricked Jonah and his men into the danger zone. Initially doubtful, a determined Tobias advanced toward Wes, aiming to establish dominance. His effort, however, failed as Wes overpowered him. Despite the risks, the remained steadfast in assisting Wes to the forest's edge. Crafting a plan, she suggested Wes take shelter in a nearby cave. Inside, they came across a disheveled man with long hair, writhing in agony. The man they encountered was the same person from the story's beginning, THA's estranged brother. As night fell, they huddled together in the cave, preparing for some rest. Before drifting off, the curiously asked about the significance of Wes's watch. He openly revealed that it was a keepsake, reminiscent of his times with Johnny, not all of which were pleasant. The comforted Wes, assuring him of a fresh start the next day and her commitment to helping him reach the border. However, Wes didn't have peaceful sleep, nightmares haunted him, replaying the pain of Johnny's death. The served as a support, emphasizing that Johnny's fate was a tragic accident and not Wes's fault. Elsewhere, Jonah and his team of hunters also sought some relief. Before falling asleep, Jonah revealed the origins of the twisted game. In his earlier years, he was a CIA operative. Due to complications, he found himself cast out from the agency. Fatefully, he encountered a general with numerous abilities. Rather than letting these powers go to waste, Jonah initiated the game where individuals became moving targets. Over time, wealthy individuals joined in, investing heavily. Dawn broke, and Wes woke up to find the and her brother missing. They had been captured by Jonah and were being cruelly tortured on the railway tracks to extract information on Wes's whereabouts. Spotting Landon distracted, Wes sprang into action, holding him hostage and demanding Jonah's location. At the railway tracks, Wes used Landon as a bargaining tool, compelling Jonah to release the and her brother. Without hesitation, he told them to run. Intent on holding off Jonah's men, Wes faced them head on. Sophia, curious about Wes's location, approached. Unexpectedly, the pushed her brother to safety, revealing her unresolved conflict with Sophia. The two women engaged in a fierce combat, exchanging blows. The showdown was intense, but the stood firm and eventually defeated Sophia. Meanwhile, Wes executed his own escape plan, evading Jonah by diving into a nearby river. Upon reaching the riverbank, he reunited with the and Wynn, spotting a camera that Landon had previously stolen. The camera revealed incriminating evidence of Jonah's illicit activities, ready for public exposure. Holding the camera, Wes confronted the and Wynn, seeking explanations for taking his ruby despite his trust. Regretful, they gave back the ruby, explaining her intention to sell it to counter the general's threats and protect the community. 
Wes chose to forgive, with the condition that they ensure his safe passage to the border. Suddenly, Madden discovered the camera and informed Jonah. Chaos ensued as Jonah realized the camera's memory card, containing incriminating evidence, was missing. If that footage got out, everyone involved could face potential incarceration. Enraged, Jonah directed his anger at Landon, ending his life. This reduced their hunter ranks to just one, the Spanish matador, Esparto. However, Esparto noticed Jonah's deceit through the use of a tracking device during their hunt. Feeling it was dishonorable, Esparto confronted Jonah. They were compelled to work together in their pursuit of Wes. Wes soon discovered the tracker hidden in his ruby. Devising a plan, he opted to split and conquer, setting up intricate traps to slow down Jonah and Esparto. He used a barrel of gasoline and made off with Jonah's firearm and speedboat. Jonah's eyes locked on Wes, who was speeding toward the border. Simultaneously, Esparto confronted the and Wynn near the riverside. With a determined look, he challenged Wynn to a duel. Despite Esparto showcasing formidable skills, the tide turned when they intervened. Joining forces, the siblings overpowered and defeated Esparto. However, Wes's journey to the border wasn't without challenges. With Jonah persistently on his tail, Wes had to retreat, dodging the relentless gunfire. Jonah fires shots relentlessly as Wes swiftly climbs to a high point, defeating a bunch of Jonah's henchmen along the way. After the intense clash, Wes eagerly approaches the border bridge, feeling confident in his progress. However, he finds Jonah casually waiting for him. Not only is Jonah a threat to Wes, but he's also causing chaos among innocent bystanders. Jonah's intention becomes clear when he threatens a child, forcing Wes to surrender. Wes has Landon's memory card and has entrusted it to the Unwin. This doesn't sit well with Jonah, who, along with his associate Madden, captures and roughs up Wes. In a twisted game, Jonah and Madden summon Myanmar's elite fighters for an imbalanced battle against Wes. Surprisingly, Wes excels in this challenge, swiftly overcoming the fighters and knocking Madden down with a powerful kick. But Wes isn't done. Advancing towards Jonah, Wes gives him a taste of his own medicine. While Wes considers reversing the roles and making Jonah the prey, the scene changes with the general and his forces arriving. The steps in, secretly trading some of Wes's valuable rubies with the general, who then orders his troops to target Jonah. As the dust settles, the returns the remaining rubies to Wes, who dreams of purchasing a coastal home. In an unexpected turn, it's Johnny's widow who acquires the beachfront property. Grateful, she writes a letter to Wes, relieving him of any guilt related to Johnny's misfortunes. The story concludes with Wes marrying the, and together, they establish a martial arts academy beside a scenic river. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Take care.